Hi there, Jamie here. I'm excited to share a solution with you on how I fixed a problem with my LG TV. It was driving me crazy. I'm not even kidding. I was going to actually throw the TV out or donate it because I couldn't deal with it any longer. It's those annoying pop-ups that come up on the middle of your screen, take up half of your screen, block all of you. So I had Googled it and tried to find different options and none of them worked. But I think I found a solution. It's worked for the last three days for me, and I think it'll work for you too. So let's jump in and find out. This video is a quick walkthrough of how to fix this issue. Note that if you Google this, you will get all kinds of solutions, all of which I tried, and none of them worked. Some of the suggestions I tried were time consuming and required resetting the TV, the passwords, the Wi-Fi, everything about it. Uh, I cannot tell you how much time I wasted, but again, I decided to give it one more hour to see if I could fix it, and to my surprise, I did. So I wanted to share the, the steps with you that I had not found elsewhere in hopes that it might help others, and hopefully you will not have to throw your TV out. So a few things to note. My TV is an older LG Smart TV. When researching this issue, I noticed that a lot of people had various types of televisions from Hisense to... Uh, TLC to Sony to Samsung, and again, mine's an LG. I noticed that TV technicians and people that get paid to answer these kind of questions were saying nine out of 10 times it cannot be solved. And lastly, not do this at your own risk. It will give you a warning, which we'll talk about later in this video, telling you that this could mess up some functionality of your television. For me, this was not an issue because I do not use the smart aspects of my television. I use an Amazon Fire Stick as well as an Apple TV. Remember you can pause the video or slow it down using YouTube and follow along with me. As I stated earlier, I have an LG TV and it's pretty old. I also have the little remote here which I'm going to be using and that's going to be important. And the first thing you want to do is grab your remote control and you're going to hit that menu button. Scroll over to where you see all apps at the bottom. On my particular television, this is the third app from the bottom. And instead of clicking on it, I'm going to click the menu button again. This is going to give us some additional options. And this is probably the most important step because most people would skip this step and they would just click on it. You want to, again, click that menu button on your remote and that's going to give you the additional options on the lower right hand side of the screen. Next, I'm going to go to the system settings. System settings is going to take me directly into my TV's settings. Next, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom of that page and on again, my TV, the LG, I'm going to choose application, which is at the bottom of that list. You will see three options on the right hand side. Once you've Here you can this, choose manage apps. And we're going to Here you can see downloaded apps and that's where a lot of people thought the file would be. It's not there, however, you're going to scroll all the way over to the last option and use all, which is the last option. Then you're going to scroll down until you see com.google.tv.discovery. That nasty, nasty little app that was literally making my hair come out. This is the place that I mentioned earlier where you're going to get some of those warning messages. It says it could harm other operations on your television. For my purposes, again, this is fine. I don't use this and I don't use the smart functionality. So do these things again at your own risk. When you see this, you're going to First of all, force quit. Next, you're going to disable it. Then you're going to clear the data, clear the cache, and clear the defaults. And then once you've done those things, this should no longer be a problem. But if you have any other pop-ups that come along, you can probably use these same steps and find the file. I was super excited because I thought this was going to work. And it ultimately did, but there are a few more steps we need to do. We need to do a full power cycle slash reset on your television. So we're going to unplug it. Then we're going to immediately go around to the front of the television and we're going to press the power button for 10 seconds. You're going to see the little red light there blink three times. And that means we've done the reset. Then we're going to plug the TV back in and turn it back on. Now you should not see any more pop up messages. I cannot tell you how elated I was to see this. I immediately wanted to share it and then I thought, no, let's wait a few days and make sure it's clear and it works. And it did. I'm, I'm elated. I'm excited and I hope it helps you. And if it did, please hit that like, share and subscribe button. 
and also hit that little bell so you can be notified about future videos. That's the best way to help support our channel and help us out. Comments or suggestions? Please leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.